do a little lunch drive and talk to y'all. Mind you, yes, I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep wearing sweaters. Mind you, I have a work wardrobe that is winterized all summer long. Well, not all summer long. All year long. Because it's cold. Because usually we didn't have heat for the longest time. So... Eventually, the goal would be, hey, Chipotle, hit me up, sponsor your girl, because I love food. And it seems like my body has been agreeing with it more, um, because just a transparency moment situation that my father when I was young lost his battle to colon cancer so I get a double whammy with that plus my mom also has you know she had some issues with her situation as well. And God has been healing me throughout things as well. I really have to watch in this area to get back to work.
because I'm not finna speed up on incoming traffic. I'm not doing that. I'm not finna play Frogger with nobody. And this is one of the most dangerous states to drive in. And I hate it because there is no point. I do not got time for that. I do not have time for the mindset of a microwavable society. I just don't. I just don't. And it is what it is. If people were to slow down, people would see a lot more stuff. If people were more considerate and cognizant of what's going on in life, a lot more stuff would be So last night for dinner, this is a random thing, but last night for dinner, I also got uh, the cleaner iced tea where they don't clean out the machines clearly and thoroughly. And there is a cleaning substance in it. So that's right. So that's been my week so far. <laughs> but we move. We are positive. We keep going. This is why I don't like using Target pickup. That's why I pay, I need to pay a premium or something. Hold on. Anyway, as I was saying, Target be taking forever for pickup at times. Like, I don't know if it's anywhere else, but like the prime times when people get off work, thank God I got off work early so I could do this because I ain't got time for the prime time stuff so yeah let me head on home Couple hours just to get a patch on my tire. 
throwback meal and I need this for my self care okay so here we go is celery and ranch because in this box I don't know and they always take the box for X amount of years, because again, I won't say how old I am, but long time. They've always taken this box. When I tell you these wings is busting, it'll make me sick. Yeah, I'm about to grow. What are we going to do? So I'm currently in my bathroom because I'm pretty sure that people like, you know, transparency and I want to be as realistic as I can with things because again, me, I just like to express that there are things that, you know, people go through and I am one of those people that go through certain things as well. So for me, I have been having like really bad eczema to the point where I am thinking like it turned into psoriasis, what they call psoriasis, <laughs> but I don't think it's there, but I try to take care of my skin the best that I can, especially during, you know, times of flare-up or whatever. But I'm in an area now where the water is not healthy. <laughs> it's just not. So I was trying to figure out for the longest time, was it my products that I was starting to get allergic to or was it the literal water? So it's, I came down to a good conclusion that a part of it was the water because I had a very big red situation here and it's probably not going to pick up on camera but it has, has almost healed completely both of my shoulders my entirety of my neck it would spread here as well and when I was younger and backtracking for a second but it's it comes here too so that's why you know my face can be swollen at times and you know there's a certain point where you just got to accept that your skin goes through stuff <laughs> instead of you know trying to hide it because it's just some days you just can't so when I have those swollen moments my confidence isn't you know the best but I try to you know just be positive within myself and be graceful with myself because it's just I can't help the condition that I have so sorry about the sleeping again told you about my neighbors so can't escape that either um so when I was younger and it went away for years but now it's starting to come back but when I was in say fifth grade into like middle high school I had severe like looking down at my homework and stuff like flaking off I'm sorry it's TMI but it was just the truth I had it underneath my eye that's why I always kind of look tired most of the time it's not literally that I'm not getting sleep it's because I had eczema so bad that the skin you know was able to repair itself so it was my eye my chest area my neck um but not necessarily my arms which is the cause of it now but i used to have it all behind my knee and like my back area so all in all to say 
that when you have seasons where your skin isn't cooperating, I feel you on that because it is extremely exhausting because you feel like your body's fighting you and it's not the best. So what I wanted to do is share some products that can help me during the times where my skin wants to act up and can eventually restore it back to a healthier look. Now mind you, also with my face, um, there are times where it is clearer, it's slimmer and so on, but there are other times where it's usually inflamed. Again, it's my skin, I can't help it, it is what it is, you know, and I don't have the resources to be able to go to an expensive dermatologist and so on to do certain things. So, um, again, some products that will help with that too, but there's other preventative measures that I also take, you know, because for some reason, when I was younger, it was like persistent, right? Just little irritations everywhere. But then when I got into college, it started being cystic along my jawline. And I'm like, what the? Now, mind you, this was a time where I was just sick of having acne. Overall, I was just done with it. So I would try to do all these things that, you know, my friends that didn't never really have acne that guided me to do certain things. And that's what caused the cystic acne. So now, you know, I don't have that issue, issue anymore because of the precautions that I take. But there's still, you know, the after effects of the scarring and the unevenness and so on. So to me, I don't think it's ever going to go away per se, but to get to, you know, just a level of just overall confidence. Because for a person that has skin issues, you have to work on yourself regardless to love the skin that you're in anyway. Like you're not going to get gratified from outside people you know you're just not but you got to realize that your own beauty radiates within yourself anyway and it's your character your, your personality that really shines and it makes you more attractive that's just my opinion that's been my experience and I'm over with so the first thing I did was change my water situation and getting a shower filter and I did have this before, and when I had to change my shower, it wasn't bad. Like, the water wasn't bad as it is now. So I was just like, okay, I need to change something because I cannot have my skin be as bad as it was. So let me show you what it looks like and the brand and everything else. And then we're going to switch over to what I kind of use in the shower every other day or on the daily and what I use on my face and my body. So let's get into it. This is the current mechanism. I'm not sure if it's Sprit or Sprite. I'm really not sure. Maybe Sprit, S-P-R-I-T-E. I'll show you the packaging and all of that. But this connects and it's pretty much just a screw on. You don't need any tools. So I highly recommend I got it from Home Depot for $26 after tax so you do have to change the filter it says either between six months or 10,000 gallons of water whichever comes first and that comes roughly about 225 ish minute showers and it's July, so I should be good until January, but some days I shower for a longer duration or more frequent, especially during the weekends when I have more time. So, one thing about me, the skin is going to be clean. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So, game changer so far within 48 hours, 
Because mind you, like I said, this whole thing was getting heat up, chat. Oh, Jesus. It's already cleared up. And I recommend people getting either a faucet filter or a shower filter or both. You know, because I know a lot of people more use more water in one area than the other. So whichever one's more frequently used, I would recommend, you know, getting provisions for that. So let me show you some products that I have been using more frequently, not mind you. There's only like, go look at over where it's at, two or three that I interchangeably use every day um but everything else is basically like on a every two three day or weekly basis so let's head over i was gonna pan over to the my whole setup but good on that okay cool um but it just I don't know because I have like facial tools and so forth so um I think I'll just show you guys like personally and up front now mind you if you see like dye or stuff on a product it's because I have these certain razors let me just get them out but I still have the packaging But um, the first product that I use, I want to say maybe every couple of weeks, if that, is this Global Immune Care Gold Mask. My mom actually got these for me just by chance because she knows I like having facial time every now and then. I wouldn't uh, recommend going past the a lot of time it says 15 minutes but um for me just because i have sensitive eyes more so than ever nowadays again i don't know why can't figure it out but it would cause kind of some swelling like on my eyelid so like it would you know drag down a little bit so and it's not because of the mask it's because i have <laughs> what i got going on you know what i'm saying so I do recommend it for the skin. It leaves it very soft, leaves it very, you know, the claims that are on here. And I don't know if you can see it, but you can pause it and read it, screenshot it. But the claims, you know, it to me, they really do help. And it, it is a good product. So there's that. Honorable mention for like really stubborn days where I just need stuff just shh. vacuumed out honey that's what I need probably all the girlies remember this but when I tell you it says you can use it on hair which I'm not gonna do because you know that we can't do that but yeah this is this is really good. It claims, yeah, really nice. Also, too, let me know if you want a part two because this is a to me this is a self care situation because you know feeling your best and feeling like you look your best is always a nice plus. But anyway, part two if you want to know where my other side of my sink is with my hair stuff so let me know if you want that okay next going along with the facial scrub type things and it is actually a dollar tree product that i got and it's dripping because i just took a shower not too long ago but it's this it's a kissable deep pore charcoal acne scrub when i thought 
when I picked this up, I was like, oh, okay, it's just gonna be like a regular scrub that I like getting. It's one of the Freeman ones, but I never have been able to find it. I don't feel like grabbing it on Amazon. I don't feel like doing that online shopping component of it because you never know what these warehouses would be doing. So um, I'd rather just physically pick it up, but for a dollar, yeah, it's good. And I found this in a random uh, trip to Big Lots, and I believe it was six ninety nine. I want to say, but when I tell you this smells so good, like so good, I use this on my body. I want to say weekly, but yeah, this is this is up. Dr. Joe's Blackberry with essential oils comes with a avocado oil, orange oil, and shea butter. And it's like a it's long lasting to me, so I really enjoy it. Next is I got this at Giant Eagle because I don't have like the popular grocery store that other people have so this is a milk bath now mind you milk baths don't really lather up that well it's literally just a milk so you to me I add it to like a body wash so that way I can get the lather and whatnot but this you don't need to and it's I believe it's yeah lavender and chamomile and it is a foaming milk bath but I use it usually as a body wash when I want extra you know wanting that sense of calmness so now that it's right in front of me moving on to the next thing is facial brush now this is i would say maybe a weekly thing sometimes just depending on if i feel like my skin is like really suffocating so this one is the plume beauty i got this i think i ordered it few months ago at Target. I believe it was only like maybe $11.99. Um, I do want to find and buy the new face one, but it's just not in my price range right now. So we're going to have to do what I do. This I started using a lot, like frequently, but not as much anymore because to me, the amount and the price not for me but it does work well and it's the bio oil that i get another popular product and some of these i have been recommended you know through influencers as well so mind you i don't i do not pull the plug on because I don't get influenced easily I just don't so for me doing my own research having more and more people say it does work and then basing it off of what I think it can be beneficial I do like doing that so it does take me a long time to finally you know view a recommended thing so this was recommended via you know the social medias if you have harsh skin and it's sensitive and you can't take a lot of chemical stuff you just it's just not for you do not put these together just speaking personally don't put these together because they both have the benzoyl peroxide it's above the 10 percent yeah, so you're already getting the 10% when you wash your face. Don't put the cream on after. Have a couple days, maybe even a week, okay? Because literally, I was like, oh, I didn't recognize I got sunburned. No, my whole thing, puffy and red, because I don't get sunburned. Like, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm trying to rationalize why my face looked so messed up for two weeks combo i really want to throw this away but again it's 
it, to me it's I pay for the product I need to use it but this does help when I feel like I just need a really good cleansing on my skin but I tr it's definitely for those that are like me it's definitely not an everyday thing either get this with your favorite face wash use this or try and expedite uh not expedite what's the word I'm looking for interchange sometimes with a gentle cleanser and then this one because it will <laughs> it clears it up purges you and so on so next is with those two products because i use all three of these like who was i i just went on a binge is what it is use all three of these at the same time never again never again who, who did I think I what type of skin did I think I had? It was just invincible skin and I had no issues. Child, please. So this, because I started realizing that I was allergic to the rose petal um, Thayer's toner. But I like the fact that a toner, to me, it feels like my skin can be agreeing to it and it makes it more vibrant and glowy so this is another recommended product so it's the pixie glow tonic as you can see can you see it like it's about right here so it is about halfway gone mm. I don't know if it's beneficial or if I'm allergic to it. I truly do not know. But I want to switch to oil-based products. And then the last are creams. So the first is the Burt Bees Nourishing Oil. It's a cleansing oil. Worth the price. To me, it's worth the price because I don't need to use it all the time so I don't need to replenish it all the time so what I do is I kind of like apply it as a lotion before going in the shower on my body and my face so like I let it you know let it just sit on my skin for a little bit and then I hop in the shower and then I use my you know exfoliants and all of that and then I do my regular routine so that is probably like maybe a monthly product so again to me the usage with the price because I believe it's with inflation I don't, I don't know what price it is now but it was a 15 when I last got it and so this it's weird it's, <laughs> it's supposed to be an eye cream And I need somebody to tell me if there is a literal face cream with ceramides and caffeine in it because it seems like my skin loves it. It calms down completely. So this is a, what's the brand? Where did I get this from? Mm, Dollar General. It's a Dollar General product, I believe $5. This lasted me a while. It doesn't, it feels, Looks like there's a lot of product in it because it's not flat. But there ain't a product in it. There's just maybe a smidge it left in. But I usually just do this in the morning and it seems to wake me up. I don't know if it's a placebo effect, but hey. Is what it is. I like it. Next. See, I ain't even organized with this. I said oils first. <laughs> Back to oils. This is a CVS brand, Beauty 360 Vitamin E Oil. This helps me with moisturizing my skin. I do not have to use this a lot. This is another monthly type of product when I just feel like it just ashy for no reason. Mind you, I never had a problem with ash, but when I feel like I am, is what it is and I'm not sure if I became allergic to this either but I now use it in my hair 
is a turmeric oil from Advanced Clinics. Clinicals, I'm sorry, Advanced Clinicals. That's what it is. Real focus, not sure. Turmeric oil, really good. I used to use it on my face a lot and it really helped me out, but now, because if anybody else is like me, like I said, I need to change products. I, I would say it feels like every three, no, two to four months. I feel like I need to change up my routine somehow and get something new. So the newest products that I got was the Dr. Teal Scrub, this charcoal, and um, I believe that was it. Yeah, that was it. Nope. Shout out. I'm looking at my stuff right in front of me and I don't even know. Hmm. It's water based. But Dollar Tree. It's the Skin Nutrition Botanicals Vitamin C 1% Oil. Yeah. This is. I was actually quite shocked and I can and I've been using it every day and it doesn't seem to be a lot used so again a dollar for what you use how often you use it yeah because I understand with just now that I need to incorporate some vitamin C and see if it helps in the long term because for me, you know how people can get um, results like within a week, maybe two and a half. I had to use a product for months to know that if my skin likes it or not. Because it always usually goes through a purging situation or like just irritation or something regardless. So I can't tell if something's necessarily not good for me until it starts to clear up because of the product. <laughs> if you're like me and you know, you know. So, now to the cream products. Now, to me, this product, <laughs> I'm not gonna pay $30 for the $4. Okay. But, I don't need, it's hot in here. I ain't got the air on because it's loud. I am not gonna pay. <laughs> 30 plus dollars full for a full jar. There we go. Not doing it. So this is the Olay Hydrating Moisturizer Micro Sculpting Cream from Olay Regenerist. Yeah. I'm not, I'm going to pay $10 for this product because you only need to go do, 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 do. You know, that's all you need to do rub it in. I used to do this almost every day to every other day, but I have slowed down with it because I have the vitamin C serum now. So I need to, you know, again, I need to be sure that a product is not irritating my skin and so on. So when I try a new product, I stopped everything else. So I know what's what. So I'm going to incorporate that back pretty soon. Now, I don't know if I need to switch to hydrocortisone, the lotion, but this is a Target brand, hydrocortisone cream 1%. This saves my skin. Hands down, it is what it is. Like, every time I get, like, redness, like, severe redness, then this is what I have to use on my face and within a day it's gone. Same with the situation along with the new shower filter. Like this was completely like scaly red, all that. And it's gone because of that combo. And it just, to me, this is a product that I will have to probably use for the rest of my life. So I don't know if the hydrocortisone you know, the cortisone 10 lotion will help me just again for the frequency that I have to use it and for the price. So this is kind of a weird product, <laughs> but again, when I was experiencing a lot of facial issues, 
I did so much research on things and how zinc is very um, beneficial for someone on my skin type. Now, mind you, I'm not dry, I'm not oily, I'm not normal. So, take that as you will. You gotta just figure it out. Like, it's just at, at a certain point after so many years, it's like, you gotta just figure it out. <laughs> so, this has 13% zinc in it, but it is used for children that have, you know, diaper rash. If you've heard of this, you got, you know, nieces, nephews, or children of your own, that's a 10. Now, mind you, there's two brands there's the blue label which is a 13 and then the purple label i believe is 15 percent too much for me tried it once mm -hmm. but i use this you judge me or not i don't care it works for me okay do this use this as a facial every time i feel like my skin is leaning towards the lily side when i tell you it just it doesn't dry you out completely but it takes out everything that you feel is clogging your skin so i know this, this is a very random product mind you you cannot wash it off like a regular facial okay you have to either use maybe a damp time because you already know there's there's levels to how people remove their facial products you know like don't use your own towel and, boo, 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 and then all that yeah so um what i use it's either dry depending on the paper towel brand that i have or i dampen the paper towel and i remove it and then i wash my face with a gentle cleanser because this is not coming off with water that's why they made it the way they did as a diaper rash cream so that way the you know child when it gets you know whatever moisture it doesn't just wash away you know so those are my facial products and my body products so I hope that people realize that within your self-care routine you know you are doing it for you but also consider you know things that you can change within your daily routine to help your you know skin out and a lot of people you know they recommend like drinking more water chow i drink water like nobody's business doesn't help me so when people have that blanket type advice I personally because I have have had so many issues with my skin wanted to really you know show you guys what I use because this is a part of my self-care and my routine so because I want to be able to you know just feel nice and feel pretty so Especially when my skin's acting right, you know. But yeah, that is my current line of product. Okay, so with the skin safe, <laughs> keeping all that in, keeping it. With the skin care situation I told you a couple days ago, that was about thirty minutes. So I'm gonna stop this video here because I already started a new one because we. We lit midweek. That's what we're doing. So, you're going to see some good times from midweek all the way through the weekend. Because I'm going to be trying to do something every day until that point. And of course, with my day of rest, I'm going to do that too. So, until next time, take care.